I'm Valerie and from WeDo. So the construction industry produces at least like a third of the world's waste. It also produces 40% of the world's carbon. And yet we still need those materials to build roof on top of us. So here we have come up with this very simple solution of using waste for the roof material. In this case, it's a corrugated roof that could replace many of the standard built ones and it's made out of recycled plastic. Now we're going to show you how we make this. Let's go! We start by plugging in the electric oven into your electrical source, go to the control panel, open it, turn on the MCB, close it, and in front you will see a few buttons. The first one is emergency stop, the second is an on-off switch, third is have on-off switch for each heater's timer, and lastly temperature control for the heaters. Now that the oven is preheating, it's time to prepare our materials. First, you will need clean and shredded plastic. Here, we're using LDPE to prepare the mold. Put some lubricants. It could be oil, it could be also Windex or WD-40 to allow easier release. Put the shredded plastic on the mold and make sure you pat it down and it's evenly distributed. When the oven reached the exact temperature that you want to melt your plastic with according to the type, put on heat gloves to protect your hand, open the lock, put the mold in, turn off the top heater for 10 to 15 minutes. This will allow the bottom part to get heated first so you will have better heat distributions at the end. Then close the lock and set the timer. Look through the window pane to see if the plastic is fully melted. Once it's melted, you can take it out. Here you can see that we overheated slightly. Next time we will use lower temperature and also less time. Then you can place it in a cold press. Once you feel that the hydraulic is resisting you, then you can stop and wait. It is important to note that when you are cranking it up, not to overpress it and don't worry about a few materials that flows out because that those are excess. You can technically leave the mold in the cold press for a long time, but for pasta production, we left it there for about an hour. Take it out, wait in normal temperature so we can use the cold press for other projects. And after another hour, we demold. For the best result, make sure you wait for everything to cool down to room temperature before you demold. Make sure you don't release the mold until it's warm or cool to touch with bare hands. Then you can remove the excess overflow from the mold. After that, you can pry off the plastic quite easily. And there you are, a fully waterproof roof that is durable, made from waste, cheap, and it's quite easy to build. And that is it from us. We hope that this video is useful for you in creating low-cost building materials and also reducing waste in your place. And if you're interested in the corrugated roof or in the oven or any of our machines, just let us know in the description.